Hello my dear friends welcome back once again to my new video Today I'm going to give you a new lesson that is the third level for class 12 CVSC and in this lesson I'm going to give you the summary of the whole story and we will talk about the author and uh, summary of the chapter and some of the words which are difficult to understand we will discuss in that right and if possible i'll also discuss the question and answers from the text right so here we start okay we start with the author right about the author the third level is written by jack finney actually jack finney is an american author his actual name is walter braden jack finney or when he was born his name was john finney he was born on 2nd of october 1911 and he died on 14th november 1995 okay so he was an american author and he wrote mainly science fictions and thrillers his famous books are the body snatchers time and again and invasion of the body snatchers etc right so i hope that you will enjoy this lesson in this lesson also we find like last year when you were in class 11 there was a lesson called the adventure and in adventure you had seen how gangadhar panth was transported into a parallel world okay in this chapter the story deals with the curious experience very strange experience of charlie he is 31 year old man every day he is a he is a commuter he reaches home he comes back home every day after his work and all like that so one day he reaches very strangely to third level and what is this third level it is you can say you can say tra time travel no you you go back to your uh, previous time and you enjoy certain things which are totally changed so something like that happened here all right so we start with the summary of the lesson one night last summer charlie was in a hurry to go back home to his wife the name of his wife was louisa he reached grand central station to go back home he took the subway he thought that it was faster than the bus so he came to this grand central for the train he turned into the grand central from Vanderbilt Avenue. It's a name of a street in New York. Vanderbilt Avenue. He reached the first level, found no train. Reached the second level, no train was there. In the second level, he found strangely a door and a tunnel. He took that. Following the tunnel, he reached third level. It is very strange, third level. He found everything strangely changed. There were fewer ticket windows. The information booth in the center was wood and old looking. The people were dressed in different manner and there were all the things changed like the brass spittoons were there on the floor in the third level. He saw a man. He was pulling out a gold watch from his vest pocket and he snapped open the cover and he had a look at the watch and he frowned. He was wearing a derby hat and a black four-button suit with tiny lapels and had a big black handlebar moustache. Then he looked around and saw that everyone in the station was dressed like 1890, something like that. And he never saw so many beards, sideburns and fancy moustaches in his life. Okay. And a woman walked in through the train gate and she wore a dress with leg of mutton sleeves and skirts to the top of her high button shoes so all these things were changed okay. back of her out on the tracks he caught a glimpse of a locomotive a very small carrier and eaves locomotive with the funnel shaped stack and then he understood that he was in different world so this was the strange scenario at that level to make sure Charlie went to the newsboy, whether he was dreaming or not, he went to the newsboy who was, who was selling the newspapers. There he saw a newspaper, The World, and the date, date was 11th June 1894. And the lead, lead story of the newspaper was President Cleveland 
it was not the present time president so he was very sure that he was not in the same world that he was leaving that means he had been transported to another world then charlie decided to go to ticket window he wanted to buy ticket so charlie reached the ticket window to get two tickets for galesburg ilionis galesburg ilionis galesburg was his childhood place he wanted to go there along with his wife he wanted to buy two tickets right the clerk at the ticket window did not accept the currency charlie was very upset and worried because when charlie gave him the money the money was something different strange so charlie was very scared he thought no my god i have to go away from there so sensing trouble charlie ran away from there just escape from there okay to avoid the jail then next day he drew 300 dollars from the bank and bought old style currency in old currency he only got 200 dollars unfortunately he never found that third level again he was very upset charlie's wife luisa told him that he should not try to look for any third level right charlie's wife luisa didn't want him to look for the third level anymore so charlie went ba back to his old habit of collecting stamp that is philately once again he started doing that and one day when he was meddling with his old stamps he found an envelope addressed to his grandfather in galesburg this envelope that is first day cover contained a letter addressed to charlie okay sam his psychiatrist friend sam charlie's friend he confirmed the existence of the third level sam then encouraged charlie to keep looking for the third level to reach him there actually sam confirmed that there was third level right to make sure about sam charlie went to the stamp and coin store okay and he found out that sam had bought 800 dollars worth of old style coins good enough to start his hay feed and grain business in galesburg because he could not have started his own business that was he was a psychiatrist he couldn't treat the patient over there psychiatric patients over there he could better start his own business that was the business of hay feed and grains right so he could have done he could have done that charlie was very much sure about the third level okay and his you know uh, charlie's friend sam had sent him one letter in that letter charlie had confirmed that there is third level and he encouraged charlie and his wife to try to reach the third level okay so this is the summary of the lesson my dear students i'm very sorry i won't be able to give you the word meanings of difficult words most likely i'm going to make another video where i am going to deal with the word meanings and different phrases in the lesson which are difficult to understand and i will also give you the question and answers in that video i hope that you will enjoy that and that's all for now today i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed please like it share it and don't forget to give your comments i will be eagerly waiting for your comments right and suggestions thank you have a very very good day bye